I've just come into the Legacy room and Bill Donaldson from Legacy. Hi Peter, how are you? Bill, how are you doing today? Well. You've got great exhibits here at the show. Yeah, we have three different uh, system setups at this show and, okay. and uh, been rotating them through them all. Cool. Why don't you uh, show us the start with the top and then we'll circle around to the other ones and uh, do a little listening, okay? Very good. Good. Yeah, what we have here is our flagship uh, V system uh, shown here in Rosewood. And uh, this loudspeaker is a, a multi-way loudspeaker that requires a DSP processor. Um, uh, the key to the whole unit is it's, it's digitally crossed over, goes through our processor DAC, um, and each loudspeaker has its own internal amplification for the base section of 1500 watts, and then you can drive the rest of the speaker with the stereo amplifier on each side. Mm -hmm. And uh, it basically the Wavelet processor allows us to correct things in the time domain, so Wavelet is a preamp, a DAC, uh, a processor, uh, and root correction device. Pretty versatile. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. Got the code amplifiers here, uh, yep. rounding out the system. Exactly. Uh, I like the finish. The rosewood really goes well. Simply stunning. Yeah, you might want to, if you got enough light there, Peter, you yeah. might want to grab a shot of the back panel. A lot of people want to know what, how this thing hooks up and, and, and basically what that's all about. And, you know, we have our two passives on the back and also the fact that it's a dipole loudspeaker on the top side. Uh, you see that that's a the midwoofers are dipolar. Okay. And you'll you'll also see that there's two uh, sets of binding posts and also two sets of XLR inputs that uh, that feed the speakers. Well, we didn't see that before. Thank you very much. That's very cool. Okay, let's on to the next. I love the piano black finish here on the speakers. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, that's one of my favorites. This is the, uh, the Aeros Loud speaker system. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's shown in black. And it's kind of neat because you can see the crossover inside with the interior illumination here. Yeah, you can. Look and, at that. Uh, uh, you can see all the craftsmanship and the qual parts quality. Mm -hmm. um, this, again, is a speaker that has internal amplification in the base section. Uh, it's using the, uh, our high-end AMT dual ribbon technology and also um, uses a dipolar uh, mid-range arrangement to give you that spacious open quality mm -hmm. that, that we all kind of uh, strive for with imaging. That's one of your signatures in, uh, in sound, spaciousness and openness. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Well, with dynamics, yeah, yeah, that's what we strive yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. major league um, dynamics. Uh, another shocker, we, Legacy has another sampler out. Oh, cool. And this one's, I think, my favorite of the three so far we've put out. Um, we, I just got a, a new recording that we, we made in-house that uh, just made it onto this, this pressing, if you will. But um, here in our system we have today, we have the, uh, an Aon CD3, uh, a Coda uh, CP preamplifier with a TS stereo amplifier. And you'll also see the, the Taurus uh, uh, AVM, or AVS, I guess, uh, 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 filtration system. I see, used. okay, okay. And, uh, so we uh, brought this to the show for the first time. And, uh, oh, they're beautiful. Pride of ownership, off the charts. Automotive finish or above. Sparkles in the paint. Oh, just magical. Okay, what do we have over here? We've got a new toy I want to show you. This is our Power Block 2 amplifier. And this is designed to be a fill the gap workhorse amplifier. Um, you know, when I was a kid, uh, growing up, you know, you had your Hafflers and you had your yeah. go-to amplifiers that you could always rely on and get things done. What I wanted to do was bring value to the industry in an amplifier design that's affordable and yet will, will run all day, every day, and, and uh, is not sensitive to impedances, um, is not harsh or gritty or anything, and just is a, just a great value in amplifier. Mm -hmm. um, the Power Block 2 is an amplifier that has two Class D uh, amplifier section in it, so it's dual um, monaural, mm -hmm. and uh, it will deliver uh, 650 watts into four ohms per side. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, well, what do I need with that much power? Well, the answer is, it's just, if you do the math on 24-bit, you'll find out that you need at least that much power with the average loudspeaker to ever achieve 24 bits. And um, it proves out very quickly mathematically. Mm -hmm. So. But um, um, and the speaker that we brought with this setup is our Studio HD uh, loudspeaker, which is 
features an 8 inch uh, carbon graphite driver and uh, uh, it has a silver woven into the carbon graphite and that gives it a, a very inert characteristic like instead it. of it being just rigid or stiff mm -hmm. um, it's lossier but mm -hmm. yet it's very strong mm -hmm. and so therefore this speaker can play quite loudly and is very popular in studios for that reason mm -hmm. and it's also using a, a one inch AMT driver. Mm -hmm. Our uh, focus system as you see here this is kind of a go-to standard uh, in the recording industry and it's and, uh, has certainly become more, more that way in the last 10 years but in we first built a, a focus house speaker back in 1992, and every year we've made some revision to it to make it a better loudspeaker. Um, the design philosophy behind it is, is solid enough in the way that it operates, and it splits the bands, um, and, and we've achieved with neodymium magnets some really amazing sensitivity and dynamic range, along with the ability to easily cover 20 hertz. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, that's the Focus SE in a nutshell. Very good. Well, can we do some listening? Sure. Okay, let's do that next. Thank you very much. Bill from Legacy. Uh, what I'd like to do, Peter, is just play just a little bit of a track for you, which is um, from our new sampler CD. And this is a recording of an upright bass. Uh, and I think in this particular recording, I can safely say you'll hear lower bass than I've ever heard recorded, uh, or you will probably ever heard on, on a, uh, a double bass. Okay. It's all natural. Okay. You got me. Uh, got me curious.
That is very cool. Legacy test CD number three. That's right. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much, Bill from Legacy. That's great. Great sound. Great speakers. Thanks for coming by. Thank you very much.